It's now time for the changing weather. I'm meteorologist Gary Lezek with Weather 2020. This is the changing weather, and my gosh, is it changing. Let me take you through it. What is going to happen in the next few days? An Arctic blast, a major one, is going to be heading south. There's a cold blast in progress right now, or a small Arctic blast in progress right now over much of the Plain State. So very interesting. Let's take a look and see what's going on tonight. I'm going to start. I want to go through this in-depth discussion with you. This is Thursday's IR satellite. Very interesting. This storm that came in predicted by the LRC to be in this location around February the 13th, and it was right on target. And here's the satellite picture at 5 p.m. on February the 15th. Severe thunderstorm starting to break out over the south. You can see the night lights are now on in Florida, clear skies down there. The night lights just coming on in Kansas City. The stream of clouds may produce some snowflakes, and it's going to be a major storm as we expected, but Kansas City, not really in this one. You may see some snowflakes, and that's about it this evening. And then, out west, this next energy is gonna come in with the next cold blast, a lot to go over. The trend on the models, all right? The trend on the models, the northern edge of snow is in northern Missouri. Now, this area is expected to expand a little bit into southern Iowa, but this is as of noon Tuesday. The American model has the northern edge right here. The European model has the northern edge at Kansas City. So the major snow is down here in Oklahoma and in Can southern Kansas. But then again, this does also expand farther to the north. In fact, these are the snowfall forecasts from the European model. See, it does get up into southern Iowa, but you can see Kansas City with three inches of snow, whereas seven to 10 inches down south. And then if you add in the snow depth, it really comes out to a foot of snow or more in this area. So Kansas City on the northern edge of that. On the American model, it's a little bit more, seven, eight inches of snow in Kansas City, but the northern edge right up in here with one or two inches. So what, will this go even farther south? That's the question. And again, look at this, 17 inches in southern Missouri. So we gotta watch this. It could still shift north or it could shift south. And in Colorado, you can see um, a few more inches of snow, lots of snow in the ski areas. And then the ICON model at 6 p.m. Tuesday Total, this is by 6 p.m. Tuesday, the total snowfall, four inches of snow in Kansas City and that foot down south. So one slight shift south, it's less. A slight shift north, it's a lot more. And then the other part of the story is this major Arctic blast with snow on the ground. It's going to help temperatures drop by Thursday morning. This is by Thursday morning. Minus 13 in Kansas City. That is going to be a record look at that very cold and why is all this happening well one of the biggest reasons is the arctic oscillation the lrc allows us to know when and where severe weather winter storms tropical systems other significant weather events floods droughts when and where they're going to happen a little bit of that what the arctic oscillation and enzo el nino southern oscillation index, the, the warming or the cooling of the tropical Pacific Ocean, those influences may be able to tell us if it's going to be cold or not, all right? But they don't tell us if there's going to be a storm or not. That's what the LRC is able to do. Look at this. This is the AO index. At the beginning of the season in October, it was high positive, very high positive. Rarely does it go this high. So anytime it went that high all season, and that led to a very warm through December part of the pattern. All right, do we know it's gonna turn cold? We said it may if the AO dips deep negative, and there it goes. About six weeks ago, it dipped deep negative right when this blizzard formed near Kansas City. And then it surged north again up to the positive, high positive again, and then 
just as of February 15th, it dipped to its lowest point of the entire season, and not shockingly, an Arctic blast is coming down. When the AO dips negative, Arctic air is more likely to blast south and storm systems get energized. All right? So when these indexes dip deep negative, minus three to minus four, like what happened in early January, there is a much better chance Arctic air will blast south. Then it's hard to move it out. This energized the jet stream. It dipped deep negative again right now. And it's resulting in a massive Arctic blast. And at the beginning of the season, it was the other way. So we've had a quite a volatile season. This is just amazing. The forecast for Kansas City is 18 on Sunday, 8 Sunday night, 19 for a high on Washington's birthday, a chance of snow. The latest data on President's Day does have snow set on, on Monday morning. One inch of snow even in Kansas City is possible. And then Monday night, Tuesday is the main storm. Will that go farther south or farther north? Snow is likely, and when temperatures are 1 to 6 degrees for a high temperature, that's going to give us a, a snow ratio of... Uh, a, a, a solid to liquid ratio of 10 to 1. 10 inches of snow for 1 inch of liquid. So it wouldn't take much to produce a lot of snow. And then it goes down to minus 5 and then 7 and Thursday morning might be the coldest morning. So very cold as you can see. What's been going on? Look at this. I want you to see this. This is the energy coming in on January the 3rd before the major blizzard. Six weeks 12 weeks before that, look at that. There's a, there it is again. November 22nd, there it is again. I'm showing you the cycling weather pattern. And then there's January 3rd. And now look at this. This is just a couple of days ago. See that? Look, it's the same pattern. Cycling over and over again. And as a result, we were able to know what this was going to do. Produce another major winter storm, which it is doing. There it is when it came in. Would it shock you if I told you there was a tornado near Los Angeles reported? And then 42 days earlier, 41 days earlier, there was a tornado right up here in Northern California? They're related. Not only that, we predicted 40 days ago that around February 15th, there would be this severe weather potential and a level three or higher, higher risk. That's our forecast from 40 days ago, and here is what is in progress right now, a risk, level three. Forecast 40 days ago, forecast one day from the Storm Prediction Center. So pretty interesting. So back, back to the snowfall predictions here. I'm going to favor this one for right now, as you can see here. And... Take a look at this. You can see, there you go. Slideshow, there you go, from this one. Three inches in Kansas City, seven to 10 inches, maybe a foot, maybe 15 inches down here. So the cold blast coming down, the cold air may overwhelm this and push the chance of snow farther south. We gotta watch it, because slight differences is a big difference when it comes to snow. So, there you go on tonight's update. Um, we'll try to do a Facebook Live. You can follow me at Gary Lezak, uh, my Facebook fan page. And um, we'll try to do that sometime tomorrow. Let's see how this trends. All right, this is the Change of Weather. Have a good Saturday night. I'm meteorologist Gary Lezak. Thank you for watching the Changing Weather.